And then I'll read something <coughs> I think just broke this book, Elusive Harvest, illustrated by my son, Christian White. <coughs> and I'm going to start with a poem called The Hero. He actually happens to be here. My cousin, my Dutch cousin, Harold. <coughs> and when I was a little girl, this older cousin used to come, <coughs> and I thought he was already a hero. <coughs> So the hero for Carol. Once more I see the length of him, lean as a Giacometti, buffeted by winds, years, wars, his rash escape from home to the world in all its corners, sailing across the channel as bombs fell Rotterdam, then joining Dutch marines patrolling alien seas, convoys to Nova Scotia, crossfire in coastal forces, then sent to Indonesia, where his five children were born. He sailed home to Holland, then to Texas, started factories from Brazil to Korea. Always a letter to the rebels in his pocket, he built clean water projects in poorest Nicaragua and homes in which to house his sons. He has climbed every mountain, <coughs> walked along every trail, and still when sailing races, spinners goes aloft. He did last Sunday win the race. He tells me what he cooks when his grandchildren gather. Thursdays, they count on it. How his wife laughed, then died drinking a cup of tea, and the kindness of nurses. Now life is not the same. And oh, do I remember visits to grandmama, uncles drinking midok, pass through the dunes to the sea, on bicycles, the balance. We meet his long lost friends, called Chibler and Tuck, with whom I danced the tango in 1942. They now wear hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> his voice, his voice, like an extinct volcano, drifts through days. His life filled to the brim, admirable, exhausts me. 